Chris and I how the ranch got started. And I'm gonna to try to give you a very abbreviated version because if you've met me, I could talk. <laughs> um, Chris and I started out as competitive dancers and we were, um, that's what we had in common together. It was what we'd love to do together. And as we grew up and got our careers going, I was a high school theater educator and Christopher is in the world of IT. Uh, we kind of grew apart and we got to a point where we um, really didn't like each other. We, we, we didn't know who each other was. We didn't have anything in common anymore. We didn't do anything together. And so um, Christopher, with his great wisdom said, why don't we get horses? We'd always talked about getting horses, um, but we never could afford it. And so he said, why don't we get two horses and let's have something we can do together on the weekends. It was something we have in common that we can, can do. And so we got Patience and Shiloh they were the start of, of Rain and Grace Ranch. Honestly, uh, Shiloh is the bowing horse in our in our logo. And and what we thought was going to be a journey of just going and horseback riding became this whole door to be open to a world of equine uh, all my community. Honestly, you guys, I had no idea that, you know, when I'd go to, Chris and I would be fighting, I'd go out to the barn and, and I was gonna just go spend time with my horse and my mare wanted nothing to do with me because I wasn't in, in a good place. And so they started teaching me, it was more about, it was so much more about ride than riding. It was, it was teaching me who I was and what they were seeing and they were truth tellers, right? So um, fast forward, um, we moved out to Rio Verde um, during the, the, the crash in like 2007 timeframe. And uh, we had a friend who had a house with horse property. And at the time we were boarding four horses because they're like potato chips, people. They're like potato chips. <laughs> um, we had four horses, Legato, Aria, actually we had five. Legato, Aria, Shiloh, Lady Grey, and Patience. And um, we moved out to Rio Verde because to, to get a house out here was cheaper for us than to pay board. Because board was another, it was a mortgage payment all on its own. And as we moved in, it was really charming because there's a herd of wild feral quarter, feral quarter horses out in this area. Um, and over the course of the next year, we got to know them and I got to, to watch them and walk with them and, and learn about them. Made the mistake of feeding a mama and a baby one night and the rest was history. Um, fast forward, the county came in and said, hey, there's a lot of construction going on. Horses are getting hit. These horses need to be removed. Um, there was nobody that was interested in moving 67 feral quarter horses. Uh, and I felt a duty, you know, because I'd known and spent a year with them, I felt a duty to take care of them because I've always been the type of person that you leave the world a better place than what you found it in. And, uh, you know, so growing up, um, we didn't have a lot of money, and so on the weekends, my family would take us garbage collecting in the desert. Honestly, we would go and collect cans and glass. And those are some of my best memories. And my dad always taught us, you know, you guys find the world a better place than you left it. And so that is ingrained in me. So um, when the county said these horses need to, need to go, I knew that that meant they were going to go to slaughter if, if somebody didn't step in. So I went to Christopher and I said, hey, can we, can we pull these, can we get these horses? And I tell you, my husband is a good, good man because he said, sure, let's do it. I don't know how many of your husbands would have said that. Uh, but Christopher was, was on board and it, the adventure began and it took us a month to get the 67 horses over to the property that would allow us to house them. And then as we were taking care of them, all of the neighborhood kids started coming out and talking to us about their problems, like what was going on at home and what was going on at school. And, and I thought, my goodness, there's something about these horses that are making these kids feel so comfortable that they could share their souls with a complete stranger. And uh, I, I, I went home and talked to Christopher about it. And I said, I think we're supposed to do something with rescued horses and broken kids. And um, literally, it was, it, it was a couple nights later, I had a dream and I was waking up in the middle of the night, woken up in the middle of the night. And, uh, and the, in my dream, we were supposed to have a, a rescue ranch that worked with kids. And the title of the ranch was Rainy and Grace Ranch. And it was supposed to be spelled R-E-I-G-N-I-N-G, Rainy and Grace Ranch. And it is a faith-based ranch. Um, you know, we we have an incredible creator, and he calls us to take care of take care of the hurting and the broken. And um, this ranch is a testimony to that.